So a lot of people have been asking me about goalkeepers, right? Now, my rule of thought on goalkeepers are, I'm going to reset this player here to show everybody in real time, right? So this obviously is still being able to be re reset. And we also have Casillas, right? So we've got two of our goalkeepers here. We've got Casillas here, and he's fully reset. He's got his 40 points, and we've got Donnarumma, right? So Donnarumma, I would say you can apply this, what I'm about to say to Donnarumma, to Oblak, Courtois, any of the goalkeepers that are taller than 190 cm, right? If a goalkeeper is taller than 190 cm, I always, always, always train up uh, their reflexes as high as it can possibly go. And I don't worry too much about jumping, which you see here, and that can also be boosted up with aerial strength. And I also don't worry too much about reach and, and parrying. So the three stats that I really focus on are reflexes, awareness, and catching, right? Obviously, reflexes links with catching, okay? So if I'm training up a player like Donnarumma, I'm focusing on reflexes, catching, and I'm also focusing on awareness, right? Now, awareness tied to jumping as well, but I'm not so focused on jumping. On the flip side, if you've got a player and a goalkeeper such as Casillas, um, any of those goalkeepers that are smaller than 190 cm, right? So any goalkeeper that falls into that into that like slot that's tall that's not as tall as 190 cm. Um, obviously Ter Stegen will fall into that. Casillas will fall into that. Any of these goalkeepers here, I will always train up um, their jumping and their aware like their awareness jumping and reflexes. As, as high as it can possibly go, right? So for Casillas, I'm not really too focused on the stats that I'd be focused on for Donnarumma and vice versa, right? And as I said, you can apply that to Oblak, Courtois, or with Casillas, you can apply that to Ter Stegen or any of those guys, right? So for this guy, because he's smaller, he needs to be able to command the area a little bit more with jumping, right? So I would probably go 88 on that, and then I would probably go four more onto that there, to get that up to 88, right? What that's gonna give me when I go back out here when I've still got a lot of progression points is with the manager boost, I'm gonna have 90 awareness and 90 jump. So that's a great start to launch me off with, right? That's kind of where I'm gonna go with it. And then from there, I'm gonna train up his reflexes. So that reflexes is automatically gonna bring up his goalkeeper catching and everything that's tied to that. Um, so I would probably go with like that, I would probably go at least 95 with that. And then if I'm feeling generous, right? I would probably give the rest of his stats into this to go 88 with that. Casillas is kind of a good one because you don't need, you can't really train him wrong, so to speak. I mean, any anything that you put into this is going to be a beast player. He's going to have 88 and 89 and everything. So he's going to have 91 awareness, 91 jumping, 90 parrying, 96 reflexes, and goalkeeper reach is going to be 92. He's going to be 100 overall within that system, right? Now, on the flip side, for Donnarumma, and it's only because a lot of people ask me about this all the time. Who do I recommend? I don't really recommend any goalkeepers. You can just like interchange between Courtois, Donnarumma, Oblak, any of those guys, right? Schmeichel and those legendary keepers are just on, an, on another level, right? But for the standard kind of cards, I'm going to not really focus too much on the jumping. So even though I want to get his awareness high, I don't need it to be insanely high. The jumping is more than enough at maybe 78, I would say. Um, I don't need to jump in that much, and we also don't need to reach that high either, right? So I'm going to probably just pop maybe three into that to get it up to 83 parrying. The goalkeeper reach is going to naturally go up, and then the rest of the stats, I'm probably going to go with that. So if you want to, you can actually take this down quite a bit. Um, I know people that don't really rate this stat that high, and you can, you know, you can put in whatever you want to put in. I know people that talk about having aggression on the goalkeeper and all that, but that's just a really quick guide as to what I would do um, with the goalkeepers. That's kind of where I would go with the goalkeepers. If you have got a tall goalkeeper, I would rather focus on the reflexes, um, like 95, rather than have his jumping high because he's so tall. So that's just something to keep keep an eye out for if you are training up tall goalkeepers, in my opinion. It's a short video. You can use that information for any of the tall keepers that are over 190. And then for any of the, the keepers that are under 190, I mean, Casillas is obviously a bad example. Um, but if I was to train up, right, if I was to train up a goalkeeper that doesn't go as high levels as Casillas, right? So say we were to train up somebody like Shea Given, right? Say Shea Given is a good example if I was to train him up here. This is a good example because he's only got a couple of skills, right? Or a couple of points, right? I'm not going to really focus too much on his parrying or his... Um, or I'm not going to focus too much on his catching, his reflexes are going to be fine. I'll want to get that as high as I can. 
but I'll always try and try and get his jump up to about that 80 mark and his awareness up high as well so that when I'm doing a lot of manual goalkeeping with him like I have his reach at 78 there reflexes is still probably the main stat but for me personally I would always get to the smaller shorter base keepers I would always try and have that jumping and reach high enough um, and then the awareness as well and then for the taller keepers the stronger keepers the more physical strong keepers uh, like Courtois I would always focus on a different area of that so that's just something to keep in mind if you wanted obviously Courtois is a giant as well you can see how we've trained him here no real jumping his reach isn't as high as any of his other stats apart from catching and parrying so that's kind of how I would go with it so I hope that helps you guys